All right, so magic drop. This is gonna be difficult to understand for beginners. So I'm gonna try to um, show you a different example first before we actually learn magic drop to get a good feel for how our rejection feels. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the trapeze. And if you've learned tilt, reject, uh, tilt um, readjustment, you're gonna know that pulling your hands apart in different directions is going to make the yo-yo tilt in a specific way, right? So you're gonna actually, it's gonna be the same actually, but you're gonna overdo the tilt um, adjustment. So let's say you're tilting this way. And if you overdo it, you can see that the string gets spat out by the yo-yo like that. So you're gonna pull away. It also happens on the in, um, in a different direction as well. So you can get it to reject like that. Or you can get it to reject like this. Oh, it's actually easier too when your throw hand is closer. That way you don't have to pull as hard or much for the string to reject, see? So I'm making this side very long and take a good look into the gap of the yo-yo. You're gonna see the string rubbing against the wall and you pull, it's gonna spit it out. So we're gonna use the mechanic to learn magic drop, which is indeed a rejection trick. So first get a feel for that first. It's a very specific kind of feeling. You can feel the, the string rubbing against the wall and when it spits it out, you're gonna feel a kind of giving, um, like the string giving way kind of feel. It's kind of a release of tension kind of feel. It's a strange feeling. So it's important to get that feeling in mind. So now we're gonna do this, but first I'm gonna show you how it looks. So, so what's gonna happen here is, um, I don't know if you can, if I can get a good angle of this on camera, but since um, this is happening, when you swing over like this, Oh, actually, let me show you a fail attempt. Um, so when you're doing magic drop and you're likely going to fail like this, right? This is what's going to look like because the yo-yo didn't reject like that. You're going to drag the whole string along the rolling motion and you're going to be frustrated. So what's going to happen here? So I'm going to tell you what didn't happen in this fail attempt is if you can see here, this uh, this loop coming out of your fist, it's connected to this string that I'm plucking out with my thumb here. So that loop didn't reject from the yo-yo. So if everything went correctly, as you can see, I'm giving slack to that very loop here. You see this loop? It was in this gap, right? You want this to come out. So if this loop was rejected out of the gap, then you can see, so this is gonna be the mount that you're gonna end up in when you land the magic drop. It's a brother mount with a wrap around your hand. So how do you make it reject? So as I told you, when the string rejects, you can see that the string is pretty much, um, just think of it like this. The string has to be pointing um, in a perpendicular direction than where the bearing is um, lined up. So you pull the string perpendicular to the gap of the yo-yo and it's gonna reject, right? Of course, it doesn't have to be perpendicular, but it's easy to understand that way. So you wanna make sure that the string is being um, pulled towards you, that way it's perpendicular to the gap as the, the thing comes over. The reason why a uh, fail attempt didn't reject is because the string was actually lined up with the gap. So if it's lined up, it's gonna stay in the gap, right? And it's gonna roll the whole thing over. But this time, you want the string to not be in the gap, you want, to, you want the string to be pointing towards you as it rolls over. And I'd say that the easiest way to do this is to actually make sure the yo-yo barely clears your, your index finger. So if as close as possible. 
Yeah, it's okay even if it rubs a bit on your finger as it comes around. So you want the yo-yo to see. You want the yo-yo to barely clear your finger like that, and I don't know if you can see the string rejecting out of the gap, but if this whole segment is short, it's more likely that the string is rubbing against the wall here, and thus it's gonna create the same pulling away effect. Like So it's basically like this. As you roll over, this string is being pulled towards you, so this is gonna reject. It's, it's basically the same as the trapeze reject rejection. So as it comes over, the string is going to reject and since you rolled over, it's going to roll over and that's the mount. So as it comes over, it's going to reject and roll over and that's magic drop. You just got to do these two at once. So you want to make sure that the yo-yo is barely clearing your finger and just roll over. You can you can either choose to miss, you can either choose to land in the front or the back. But um it doesn't really matter. As long as the string rejects, you're gonna get the magic drop. So make sure the yo-yo is barely clearing your finger. And just keep track of this string segment. And as long as the string is pointing towards you, it is going to reject. When you get good at rejections, you don't even have to get this whole wrap thing. You, ju you, you just need one finger like this. And as long as you kept in mind what I said earlier, by keeping this string point towards you, then it is going to reject. See? I'll show you that a bit more clearly. Like that. So I see the most important things is to um, to keep in mind is to get a good feeling of how a rejection feels and making sure that the the um, string you have on the throw hand side as it rolls over is as short as possible and the yo-yo has to be barely clearing your finger that way the string is pointing towards you to get magic drop.